Hello everyone, Thijs here again and this time with a totally different thing. At this time I wanna you explain, especially for the new players, something about something different of Hearthstone. And that uh, other thing, uh, besides playing Constructed, is playing Arena. Arena is known as, um, yeah, mo probably mo as um, the where you learn the mo most of Hearthstone. And besides Constructed, where you need a lot of cards, in Arena you're able to make your own deck from the cards that you're getting. And I want to try to explain to you uh, how, imp uh, like how you can uh, make your good deck. I'm not gonna play in Arena Run, not in this uh, video. I'm gonna explain to you how you can make your own best deck. And there are multiply ways to do it. Uh, first, we go into the Arena. The Arena is a thing where you have to pay either 150 gold or um, you pay with real money. But I would always advise pay it with real gold. Well, you should not look at my gold because I have a lot because I just play too much. and. Uh, if I play arena, I always get a really good score so that I got the gold back. In the arena, it works like this. If you get uh, 7 wins, most of the time you get your gold back with an extra pack, with an extra card. So if you go 7-3, you already get the gold back. If you go a bit less, 5-3, 6-3, maybe 4-3, it's still worth to go. You get a bit of gold, you get a, a bit of cards and you get still uh, a lot. So that's also fine. But yeah, how big are you? How how more wins you get, uh, how more you get as a prize for the arena run. And if you go something like 12-3, you get like 500 gold, you get 2 packs, or you get insane prizes. Especially for new players, these prizes are insane. But, of course, arena is really difficult. Arena works like if you lose 3 times, uh, your arena run is over and then you stop. So, you always have to take as much, you have to go for as much wishes, wins as you can before you... Uh, before you lose the arena run. But yeah, that is the general concept. And now the hardest thing uh, hardest thing comes. Which class are we gonna take? There are some classes and you should just accept that they are really good in arena. And there are some classes that are really bad in arena. Uh, the classes that are known to be the best in arena are actually Mage and Paladin. If you, can, uh, if you are new to arena and you are a bit struggling with how to make your deck. Go with either Mage or Paladin. They they have like pretty strong class cards. They have really strong uh, class cards that you can get a lot. Uh, in Arena it works like you get a lot of normal cards, common cards, and Priest and Paladin have a really strong a lot of a lot of strong common and uh, strong and normal cards. So if I call that fire something, always go with these two. Then you have a class that are a bit in the middle, like Warlock might sometimes be a pretty strong. I think Rogue is pretty strong, but Rogue is a class you shall take if you are a bit more experienced in Arena, in my opinion. Hunter is a class that works fine. And yeah, then you have like classes that are a bit worse, in my opinion. Warrior is kind of weak. The hero power is really bad in Arena, where you get two armor. Ar arena is a, bot uh, is a lot about value. You need to get a. You need to trade a lot. You need to get as much value out of every card as you card as you can. So that is really important by uh, by making your deck. And another thing I want to advise you, especially for the new players that are um, making their arena decks, look um, look for an arena guide. And there are a lot of there are different arena guides on. Like um, I give you an. Oh, it's not working. Here it is. Um, I give you a, some different like you can just google arena guides or uh, arena tier list like tier lists are really good for new new players like you can look at tier list and you can just see oh I picked Druid what are good cards to pick like a lot of people are questioning yeah what are good cards to, to pick like are the common cards is like uh, a ref is it a good card to pick why is a naturalized really bad it destroys a minion Yes, it restores the minion, but the other opponent also gets two cards, and getting two cards is really, really bad in arena. So I would really not advise, advise that. And it is really good. You should just look it up already once. Like, how is an arena run? Are, how is this looking? And like every card that you that you might get is all written here. So it is if you are new and you don't know what is better, what is better is a sky golem better or is an um, isn't faceless better? Just look it up and 
like okay the things are not like it doesn't really matter if something is good or above average it will be pretty close but if, if something is good and something is below average and you consider both being pretty strong just go with the good just take that advice and go with the cards that are good most of these are written by people that play a lot of arena so yeah it's a lot of good advice and they have it for every class like for every class it depends some cards are insane from Hunter and they are really bad into Mage and you, I would advise just look it up once um, a tier list and tier list really helps by making your deck and in Arena if you want to make your deck is sometimes even more important than playing. If you have a lot of crap cards it's really hard to get a good, um, get a good win rate in Arena run. Okay, and now let's go back to um, my options. My options are either going with um, Warlock, Rogue or Warrior. I will maybe go with Rogue normally, but I want to show you Warlock. Warlock is a really good deck for new players to play with. It has a really strong hero power also, so we're gonna make our deck. Okay, I will say we come already to a really interesting thing. Um, Warlock, I will say you should make a Warlock deck aggressive in Arena. It's not really good to make it really slow. Now we have the option uh, which of these three minions we are going with. Um, I don't think this is a good card in Arena. It has bad stats. There are not many big targets, so I would really not advise this one. And then my choice goes to Siphon Soul or Bomb Blower. Both are pretty good, but I would like to just look it up at the tier list now, just to l show you how it, like, if it might matter of n or not. For me, both look good. I will have a slightly thing that I might think. Siphon Soul is better because Bomb Lover is really situational in leather. Cards that are situational are normally not good in on leather. They are just... You don't want too much situational cards. You just want cards that get value and have good stats. So I would like to look it up uh, how good it uh, is on the arena tier list. Just to get also an idea. Okay, we have the Warlock card. Um, it are It is a rare card and it says Siphon Soul. Really good. Bomb Lover. Great. So... You see, both are, are used to be pretty good. And you have the Emperor Coda being here. So they see the Emperor Coda, what I already said, it's a good one, but don't do it. Uh, I will say also Bomb Blower and Siphing Soul are better. There's no way Siphing Soul is going to be ever, ever bad. So I will say we go with the Siphing Soul. And if you are new to arenas, you should make maybe decisions like this. But let's go with the Siphing Soul. Void Walker, insane one drop. Uh, one drops are always nice in arena runs. You don't want too many, but the Warlock with the hero power always drawing. It's a pretty good one. So this is for me a really no brainer. Okay, now I will either go with Demon Fire or Raging Worgen. Raging Worgen is an average three drop. This is a spell that either deals to damage or if we get demons, like the Void Walker already is, it gets buffed. So I would say we go with the Demon Fire here. I'm pretty sure Demon Fire will be better. If we get, can get more demons, it is for sure the better choice. If we are really early in the run, so it's hard to say. I don't want to take too many risks, but I'm pretty sure we might just still pick up some demons. Um, yeah, I had, all these three cards are not insane in Arena. The Farseer is really bad for three mana. It's You can get these stats for a two drop. This is also really risky, so I will go get a Creeper. What is an okay two drop? Um, yeah, this is hard. I'm gonna look this one up. I'm pretty sure Healbot is terrible. It's too slow in Arena. You don't want slow cards in Arena. You need tempo cards. So it's either Lepanome or Drain Life. I'm not really sure what will be better. So we can also look this up. How are we gonna do this? Uh, and if we look it up... Um, here we go. So which is the better one? Uh, where is it? Okay, so it says Demon Fire is here by average and Lepronome is below average. So is it better to... It's, it might just be better to pick it up. I would like to see where the heal bot is. I think it is not good uh, in Arena. It's not bad either, so... Uh, oh, it says it is here. So it's actually uh, even better than uh, the Lepronome, for example. It's like, e it's like close to... Um, it's like the same as, oh, this, oh, it's Demon Life, it's not Drain Life. Drain Life is also low, so it says Healbot is better, so maybe it's even better to play Healbot. Who knows, so we just go with the Healbot. I will just, like, it, like the other two cards are actually, they are really bad, so I actually understand it. Yeah, I think the Earthen Ring for sure is the best 3-drop here. This one is decent too, 
let's let's go urban ring yeah i don't want a second heal but this is a pretty nice four dro uh, five drop so let's go with that now it's really what do we want do we want early drop this is a pretty okay two drop this is a pretty decent three drop I think it's really important to get two drops. As a Warlock, you need to be decent on board, so I would go with the Murloc. Okay, I think Shade is really good in Arena. This card sucks. It just sucks. It does. It's so late game. Normally, you are ahead on board. Faceless is situational. I hate situational cards in, in, um, in Arena. And with situational, I mean, they can be insane, but they, a lot of times they are really bad. And if they are bad, they don't do anything. So I would really advise going with the Shade here. Yeah, I don't think Game Pattern is a card you want in an Arena Warlock deck, right? They are all not really good. I think I would go with the animation. This is slightly situational, but it might give you a comeback into the matchup. I think Soulfire is pretty nice here. Um, yeah, Soulfire has to be okay. It's, it's it really expensive and we discard, but if you play it at the right moment or as a burst, it might work. So, let's play in Soulfire. August is a really good drop in Arena. It's one of the better cards in Arena. So I would always advise you, if there is an August, it's never a bad pick. Okay, Fiery Dragon, really good 2 drop. Dark Bomb, really good spell. Blackwing Corruptor, good 5 drop if it can get a Fire Elemental. Usually we have 0 Dragons. To, so for my opinion, if we have 2 other good cards, there is 0 reason to go for the Corruptor. And yeah, we might just pick up the Dragon here. I like to have a lot of early drops as a Warlock. Okay, there's another demon. Hmm. We need still more demons, but I hope that we just draw into a bit more demons. Then this one is nice. Well, he might also suck if we don't draw into demons. Yeah, maybe just a Fiery, War Fiery Dragon is more consistent. Like, it looks really good, but for his cost, 5 mana. To get 1 use, you have to be at 7 mana to tap. So, it's really late game. I will just hope that we can get more consistent. It's just really good to pick low drops as a Warlock because of the hero power where you, where you always draw. I think uh, the average, like, you want a lot of 1 to 3 drops in Warlock, where the average in other decks is more around the 3 and 4 drops. If I will pick Druid decks, I will advise to pick a lot more 3 and 4 drops than 2 drops, for example. Um, I think we go with Grace Alchemist. I don't like Nerubian Egg in, uh, in, an, in an Arena deck. We don't have any kind of buffs, so it's really bad. Okay, this card is really big, and because we get the Fight Walker now, it says it puts a random demon from the hand. I would say a really good one. Yeah, this one is not good. We don't have much demons in the hand. The Wind Fury, this card, you can already see it on the stats. It just sucks. It dies to everything. Mech Warper, either we don't have mechs. It's still a good 2 drop. 2 drop with 2 3 stats. Pretty nice. We take it. And that's how you should look uh, at it. Take the cards that just are decent. And Hellfire is always nice in Arena. I would really advise picking a Hellfire up in Arena. I like cards like Dark Iron Drove. If we have a lot of 2 or 3 drops, normally we are ahead in the early game, so Dark Iron Drove has to be insane. Yeah, maybe it's just a Cobra. Like, a getting a second animation is really bad. Light Warden is just a bad 1 drop. We don't have any heals, so I will just pick the Cobra here. It's not a bad pick. Um, Bar Golem is way too late. Doesn't do much on the board, besides, it's a pretty big drop. So I would go with either a 2 drop, um, they have like similar stats, the one has one attack more, the other one has one heal more. If we look at the battle cry, um, the ooze is better. It destroys an opponent weapon, if we play against weapon classes the ooze is good. We will never have a weapon, a warlock is not a weapon class so the ooze has to be better. Yeah we might just pick up the... Um, it's either Le no, I think Lepronome is better. If you look at the deck, there is almost zero spell damage. There is an Hellfire. That's it. So there is no no reason to really pick Cobalt. I will go Lepronome be for a better curve. Okay, so we either go Crusader. Crusader is an insane value card. I like this card. It's bet it's a bit worse against Druid and Mage, but against the other uh, because of the hero power. But in the other thinks it sucks but also raging organ is pretty nice i know your tron is not bad either so just to give you another example i would like to look this one also up in the in the tier list we got so i would like to know if i was right with the crusader here 
So if we look it up, where is the Crusader? It's our normal cards, right? Yeah. Our common cards. So where is the Crusader? It's here. So it's pretty good. Where is the Anoyotron? Maybe I should just type it. Anoyotron. Anoyotron is here. So it is like almost similar. If you look it up, it's a bit weaker, but still pretty nice. And what was the last card that we had? The Worgen. It's a bit less, yeah. I I thought the Worgen is okay, but it's just it is just not more than average. And why should we pick an average card if we can get an above average card? So yes, I will uh, stay to uh, what I said already earlier. I think also Scarlet Crusader, really big value card in arena. It trades with all two drops. It trades with a lot of three drops. Because of the Divine Shield. And what is also a, a thing that is important. And I didn't uh, say that enough yet. You have to also be look at, at a pretty good curve. You see we have already a lot of 2 drops. So we really want to get like some 3 and 4 drops now. Maybe a bit of 5 and 6. Because we have the 4th color now. I really want to get some demons. And this is a really good demon. Especially in arena. So we're going to pick it up. Well, because we have the Void Caller, I would like to also have one Floating Watcher. If we play this at turn 4, we suicide it into a mission, we get this Floating Watcher for free on the board. And we can just make a 6-6 six, six, six of it by just tapping. So, this card with the Void Caller now is pretty insane. Yeah, I think I like the Cult Master. In some decks, I will advise the Acolyte. Uh, for example, maybe Druid. But Warlock is a deck that is ahead from the early game normally. Because we play a lot of early drops, it's better to pick up a card that snowballs from the early game and not relies on the late game, like the Acolyte. And we don't need a card draw by taking damage. We can always step, so I will for sure go with the Cult Master. A Mortal Call pretty, is a pretty nice card in Arena. It trades with a lot of things. One of the best picks in arena in in any warlock deck. Always a really good card to go with. Imgang boss, insane card. You can't get cards that there are almost no cards that get as much value as the Imgang boss. This card is strongly constructed. This card is insane in arena just because of the value that you get from the Imgang boss. Um, because I have already a lot of 2 drops, this card is garbage, I will just go with an Ogre. It's never bad to go with an Ogre, pretty nice stats for his cost, so let's just pick it up. Yeah, Implosion is really sick, Implosion is also a really big value card, so we pick up Implosion. And now we finished our run, and uh, I'm not gonna play it, May I think I will make a guide of uh, with the exact same deck, so... Uh, but that one will come up later, so maybe uh, then I can show you how powerful this deck will. My guess will be we are gonna pick up at least eight wins with this deck, and yeah, it's not a it is not an insane deck. We don't have legendaries, we don't have big uh, epics, so but still this deck is pretty nice. We have a lot of good value cards, so I actually like the deck. Um, I hope you learned something of the basics from how to make your deck. It's not. I don't want to show you immediately how you play because the picking phase is really important and as I said already more than once uh, if you are struggling with making a deck use an arena tier list they are really there are there are reasons why there are tier lists on the internet because to help the new players so I will advise you to take one of them and something to keep in mind especially Warlock it's uh, really depend like you really need an early drops but in some decks it's more important to get a bit more late game drops but Having a consistent curve is in arena really important. So, uh, yeah, that was the guide for now. Uh, I hope you like it. I hope you learned something from it. And I see you next time again.